Hello my good friends, this is from the Osiret Stone Experimenter and welcome to an update on the TNT Cannon. So let's get started. Don't you remember the TNT Cannon? You know that thing that was a request by the semi-crazy group to make an automatic TNT Cannon? Well, it has been improved. So before, remember, the episode's name was two shots and it had two shots. Now it has three shots and it's actually configurable. Uh, so what that means is that if you press the button right here, it simply goes off with the normal shot thing with the two shot thing and throws it over there. But if you, instead of the button, you click the lever, watch this. Apparently it goes further. Yeah, and the reason I built that little alcove was so that I could demonstrate something, uh, just to make sure, just to show you guys that it doesn't just look like that, it actually is like that. I was going to get a villager and an anvil, uh, just to show you that it is actually there, not just with Ma, but, yeah, like that. Now, as you can see, somehow the villagers that, that I placed in there teleported over there, or they... Yeah, I don't know what just happened over there. Anyways, let's reset this. Only problem with the lever one is that it requires resetting, but that's not much of a problem. So the awesome guy that commented on me uh, on my the channel and subscribed and told me to make a new update video of this was uh, this guy, Deep Sea Gaming 1000. And so he asked me to try a delay of eight repeaters on the full setting and maybe another lane of TNT for propulsion. Um, I didn't get what he meant by another lane of TNT for propulsion, but I did do the three repeaters, I mean the eight repeaters thing, and it has worked very well. Uh, there's also one more thing that I can show you. I'm not sure if it will work. Uh, just to make sure I'll make a backup just in case. This worked on a previous version of this, since I've been doing an awful lot of experimenting on this. But I'm not sure if it'll work on exactly this. Uh, let's just try it out, just to see if it does. Uh, so what I was, what I mean by that is uh, this little thing, placing a lever right here and flicking this on. Okay, and then flicking the button. I forgot what it changed, but... Oh, yeah, I, now I remember. This is the actual automatic cannon. This turns it completely automatic. So, yeah, so for semi-crazy group, in case he wasn't satisfied with my automatic TNT cannon, this is the completely automatic version. And if you want to just stop it from... Uh, continuously doing that, just flip the switch again and it'll stop. Uh, it has to exhaust itself first. Okay. And I think it stopped. Yeah. So, a uh, better place to place that will would be right um, there. So, now just I just have to remember that. Anyways, that's pretty much it on this update video. I may be doing more of these. I probably won't. I think I'm finished with this specific design of the TNT cannon. I do actually have some more experiments on TNT going around. And if I do find something I deem necessary, then I will show you guys about that. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a friendly host, the Redstone Experimenter. And bye.